Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the last episode of the 4th of July event for this year, 2023. And we're going to be taking part in the historic fish missions for Kanik Creek. And that is, I believe, the tag coordinates 5 and 6 contain these two fish. There's just the two. And let me go ahead and show you in the missions which one they ones they are. They are down here under the completed. I have to go there. But it's fish tag coordinates five. We need to get the Chinook salmon using the grizzly claw bullet spinner. And the final one, the historic bull trout using the I want you single spoon, one ounce. These are it. This is it, guys. Once you catch these especially on this final one, number six, you have to go back to San Joaquin and get the go to the sunken canoe I showed you in a previous episode, get the relic chest, you have to go all the way back to Emerald Lake, fix George Washington's statue, then they make you go all the way to Everglades. Yeah, they make you run all over the daggone place, dang on it. <laughs> I really wish that was not the case, but that is the case, so... You really got to do a lot of fishing in order to get enough of, you know, cash in order to move or just spend a lot of cash, but not my, not ideal, but it's, that is part of the event. But anyway, I have completed everything in this event. There's nothing left for current stuff here, even though we've got two more days. So it is no longer something I can pull up. But like I said in the previous episode, I will try to cycle through these for each year just to see what changes have occurred. And there have been changes, so it will be important for you guys to be you know, brought up to date as the years progress. Hopefully they'll come up with something new, maybe. But anyway guys, let's go ahead and get into the map. Now actually I think I'm going to go after the bull trout first. He is going to be right over here in the rapid area, and we'll have to probably fast forward time otherwise we're gonna get probably other species biting on the the particular spoon we've got it's the I want you spoon it's got Uncle Sam on the front of it alright this is where we want to be if I'm not mistaken let's see I think wait a minute maybe not maybe not guys maybe oh okay yeah you're right I'm alright I'm sorry I apologize for that we want to go angling the Middle Earth. Yeah, we want to go where the rocks are. And this is it. And last time I caught it right here at this rock. So let me go ahead and switch back over to, I think it's five. Yeah. The I want you single spoon, one ounce, four ought. And like I said, we are going to go ahead and advance time. Might as well get it to the lowest point. But yeah, last time I just shot it across here and got one. Actually fairly quickly, if I remember correctly. But they tend to be amongst these rocks on this side of things. You can... haven't tried it from the other side, but... Last time I didn't have to. Let me speed that up a little bit. By the way, I am using my new reel, and it just so happens that, let me show you this guy, it's on the sword cast rod and the fire cannon reel. That was one that I did get from this event. I've had the sword cast for some time. I think I picked, I'm trying to remember, not exactly sure when I picked it up, but I think it was in the final treasure chest, and obviously I got the 
fire cannon reel just recently so that completes the set and it is balanced so that it works well with this set so should have no problem catching the bull trout with this I am seeing some activity already but like I said the current here is very strong there we go all right let's see if this is our fella and we can bump that up a little bit but this guy he, he seems fairly tough I kind of like the look at this rod and reel. It looks pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it's nice middle of the middle of the road type strength. It's not overly huge. Or I think this is what we're after here, guys. He is really a fighter. Holy crap! There we go. Let's see if this is him. And that's it. Historic bull trout, 18 pounder, 13.9 inches. That's what they look like. Yeah, I haven't been to Alaska in a while, and I'm kind of contemplating coming here fairly soon because it's been quite the while. Let me go ahead and get a picture here of this fella. That's a nice looking fish. Yeah, a bull trout is a good name for him. They kind of almost remind me of bull sharks. They're real thick in the middle and, well, kind of like a bulldog. Yeah, let me get a picture of him. There you go. And that's where I caught him last time. I think I think that's pretty much the best spot to catch them. Now the Chinook, that's a different story. I think there's like actually a few places you can get them pretty readily, but I think over here at the Hunter's Cabin as a starting point is going to work best for us. And we're going to need our other reel, which is number six, Sal Monster. Now for this, we need the Grizzly Claw Bullet Spinner, one and one quarter ounce. Let's go ahead and fire off this cannon and see if we get anything. Wouldn't you know it, <laughs> I got another single spoon. Well, I don't mind having more than one. It definitely helps. And there's two good places to get this. Uh, one of which is out on these islands that are here in the center. And one is way, way, way down at the very end, as far as you can go. I think I'm going to try the islands first. Now, you got either way, you got to walk a little bit of distance. And it's not real deep right here. So you can wade across. We do need to go a ways. Yeah, amazingly, these fish, they bite on some pretty shallow water. But this here is as far as you can go. And if you want the Chinook, you need to come down here to this part of the island as far as you can go and cast out that way. That's where I got them last time. <coughs> That's where I got him last time. So let's see if that's going to be the case this time. Nope, no, not with a float rod. <laughs> yeah, I just threw it right towards. I don't know if you can see him, but there's a, some rocks right there. That's where I cast him at last time.
Ah, you saw that, didn't you? <laughs> he went after it, but he didn't quite connect. Damn it. So I'm not ruling out this location just yet. He had just come after it a little bit sooner. All right, guys. They don't seem to be biting there as much as they like they used to. I did have that one fish try to come after it, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to that other spot that I had gone to before. Okay, I can't cross right here. But I have to go all the way down here. In this spot, I did get un a unique Chinook. Now, I did get a unique over there before in the past, but it had been like six years ago that I got one there. It had been like six years since I got one there, so I don't know if that's going to happen. I always feel stupid walking with the rod held out in front of me. <laughs> yeah, I do have some markers here, and one of them happens to be a unique Chinook salmon marker. Now, from how long ago, I couldn't tell you. Let me see here. That's marking a hole. It was 2020, so three, almost three years ago. Almost three full years ago. So I'll show you how long it's been since I've been here. And that was probably the last time I was here, honestly. So, yeah, there's been some time in between. And I probably caught the last one over there on that island back in 2016 or 17. So... <coughs> We're just going to have to see what happens. But we're going to try this spot one more time here. I don't remember if I used a lift and drop or a stop and go. But we're going to try them both. Boy, that current is strong here. There we go. I guess the stop and go is it. Providing that I have gotten the right kind of fish, that is. Yeah, I think I did. <coughs> I think I've got the right fish. It seems strong enough. Looks... It's got kind of a red hue to it. Not super red like the coho, but a little bit. Not real red like a sockeye, I don't think. I don't know. We may... Let's see. No, it might be a coho. Oh, that's a unique coho. Well, shoot. Well, that's good, I guess. <laughs> Not what I was after. Unique coho in a. This is the non peak period, too. 28 pounder. Let's see, I'm trying to get some better lighting. There we go. There's not so much shine on him. Let's see here. Yeah, that was a bonus. Another unique. I'm getting a lot of uniques going after these historic. I've been getting a lot of uniques going after these historic fish. It's just kind of strange that's being the case. <laughs> and I'm getting them non peak periods. That's really strange. Now if I was trying to get one, <laughs> 
I wouldn't be getting one. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay, at first I thought it was small. He didn't show a lot of oomph. He's still not showing a whole lot of oomph. Let's see what he is. He's just a plain Chinook. So, we are in the right spot. Okay, I'm not so sure. I wonder if the peaks could have changed on me here. Sometimes late at night that does happen. That's when I tend to, f to play this game. And sometime around midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, they sometimes change the weather conditions and the peaks on me. There we go. Hopefully, this is what we're after. I'll definitely be certain to mark that. Yeah, I caught the unique pretty much where the marker already is, so I'm not going to add one just to have to have one right on top of the other, but... Don't you even think about it. Let's see what we got here, guys. I think it is a Chinook of some kind. And it's the right one. There we go, finally. There you go. Quite a bit bigger than the other one that I caught. 31 pounds. Let's put him... Yep, that's definitely bigger. It's not as big as a unique, but I forget what the uniques get to. I think they're like 60 pounds or something like that. They're huge. They are monsters, but that's nothing to, to sneeze at right there. Let me go ahead and get a good picture of him. All right. That, my friends, is the last of the historic fish. And we caught it there. Let's see. We'll go ahead and mark him just to make sure we have a marker for him. So we caught him over there. Well, actually, we caught him more in this area, but we've gotten uniques there and we've gotten historic there. I might just toss that out one more time just for fun. See if we get anything. All right, guys. Well, that is the last of the fish, and I think that is the last of this event, guys. We will be returning back to our normal scheduling stuff, and until next, I guess, October, we will start taking a look at some of the some of the monster fish that you can go after. That ought to be fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.